Alcohols undergo a type of reaction called oxidation. This reaction uses a reagent that we refer to as an oxidizing agent. And many times we just abbreviate oxidizing agent by putting a capital O in square brackets on top of the reaction arrow. There are a lot of different substances that can be used as oxidizing agent. Sometimes, occasionally, instead of writing the O in square brackets, somebody would just write the words oxidizing agent, just like that. One of the pretty common oxidizing agents that we come across is K2Cr2O7. So that's just an example of one of the oxidizing agents. Different types of alcohols respond differently to oxidizing agents. In this video, I'm going to show you each one of the different types of alcohols and how it behaves in the presence of an oxidizing agent. This first reaction that we're looking at here is uh, involving a type of alcohol that we refer to as a primary alcohol. A primary alcohol is an alcohol in which the OH group is bonded to the very end of a carbon chain. So it's at the end of a carbon chain, it's going to be on a carbon number one. And more specifically, like a more accurate definition of it is that the OH group is on a carbon atom that is bonded to only one other carbon. Primary alcohols sometimes get the abbreviation one with a little degrees symbol by it. In the presence of an oxidizing agent, a primary alcohol is converted to an aldehyde. Looks like this. That reaction looks kind of magical, but what's happening there, if I draw these other hydrogens in the line structure, what's happening there is we're losing a hydrogen atom from the oxygen, we're losing a hydrogen atom from the adjacent carbon, and we're forming a carbon-oxygen double bond in this position. A lot of oxidizing agents are so strong that even after the aldehyde is formed, they will, and this is a reaction that really is just kind of magic, they will magically squeeze a second oxygen into this carbon-hydrogen um, bond. So we end up with another OH there. That's a carboxylic acid. So a mild oxidizing agent would produce an aldehyde and a stronger oxidizing agent would produce a carboxylic acid. Now the second type of reaction that we're looking at here is a reaction with what we would call a secondary alcohol. A secondary alcohol is one where the OH group is attached somewhere on the inside of the carbon chain. It's not at the end. And specifically, the OH group is attached to a carbon atom that has two carbon-carbon bonds. So there's two carbons attached to this guy. When a secondary alcohol reacts with an oxidizing agent, there's only one possible product, and that product is a ketone. So unlike the previous reaction where the aldehyde was able to go a little bit further to make a carboxylic acid, this just stops at the ketone and there's no further reaction. And again, if we want to think about how this reaction might take place, the hydrogen from the oxygen and the hydrogen from adjacent carbon, they are both removed and in their place we make a carbon-oxygen double bond. Now the final type of alcohol that I'm showing here is called a tertiary alcohol. A tertiary alcohol is one where the OH group is attached to a carbon that has three carbon-carbon bonds. So the OH group is attached to a carbon and that carbon has three bonds to carbons. Tertiary alcohols don't react at all with oxidizing agents. So this is going to be a no reaction. And the reason for this is if you look up here, in all of these reactions, we have a hydrogen and a hydrogen on adjacent atoms that are being removed in order to make the carbon-oxygen double bond. For a tertiary alcohol, there is no hydrogen atom in this position. And because there's no hydrogen atom in this position, there's nothing that can be removed in order to make that carbon-oxygen double bond. So no reaction occurs.